Welcome back, everyone. The time now is 629. Well, President-elect Joe Biden says President Trump's attendance of his inauguration would only matter symbolically. Now, on Thursday, Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris gave their first joint interview since winning the White House. At first, Biden laughed when asked whether he cared if Trump showed up on Inauguration Day. Then he said he's worried about the image Trump's unwillingness to concede is sending to the rest of the world. I think it would, uh, important only in one sense, not in a personal sense, important in the sense that we are able to demonstrate at the end of this chaos that he's created, that there is peaceful transfer of power with the competing parties standing there, shaking hands and moving on. Also during the interview, Biden said he'd like all Americans to wear masks for his first 100 days in office. And on that note, President-elect Joe Biden says the coronavirus pandemic is dominating his transition into the White House. And his approach to the pandemic will be different from the way the Trump administration has dealt with the deadly disease. John Lawrence reports. After President-elect Joe Biden takes office, he will call on Americans to help slow the spread of COVID-19. I'm going to ask the public for 100 days to mask. Just 100 days to mask, not forever, 100 days. And I think we'll see a significant reduction. Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris say they'll get a COVID-19 vaccination once one is approved and deemed safe. And they want frontline workers, like doctors and nurses, to get vaccines as well. The President-elect and I talk about this all the time, that the people who need it most um, are, are going to be a priority. On Thursday, more than 100,000 people in the U.S. were listed as hospitalized with the virus, according to the COVID tracking project. California, in the middle of a record surge of cases and hospitalizations, is pulling an emergency break with regional stay-at-home orders. The bottom line is if we don't act now, our hospital system will be over.